Angela from Our Retro Reflections and as you just saw I just took down Christmas and I am ready for the winter decorations. Thank you so much to Carol from My Blessed Nest for hosting this Let It Snow collab and I'm excited to get started. I actually I've pulled a few things that I thought might work together but I've actually decided to go a totally different direction so I'm going to put some things on here and then kind of explain why I didn't like them. And then at the very end, I'm going to do a little bonus tiered tray and um, show you what I can do there in a small little area. So we are here in our kitchen and at some point I'm going to do a kitchen reveal. Uh, you may have seen some of the kitchen in my last one of my last videos but let's get started here so the this is sort of the basis of what we had for the christmas tiered tray and of course this isn't a tiered tray this is just a cake stand but that's okay basically what you're going for are different levels and i often use this jadeite um, cake display piece for my centerpiece in our kitchen um, and I just love this jadeite and the teal colors um, I often will use books and then you'll often see this vase with this greenery and then I will mix in other more seasonal pick, floral picks at the same time I got this deer at an antique store, but I think it may have actually come from Target. <laughs> so maybe some of you can confirm that, but I loved it nevertheless. So I paid $15 for it and it sort of had that vintage look to it. So I bought it. So I kind of gathered a few items here. I gathered this, I gathered some of these bottle brush trees. Uh, these melamine cups and I thought well I'll go for a teal and silver look um, I got this little mug that I use a lot and then as I kind of put it all together I kind of thought you know what this is kind of too monochromatic there, there's too much teal going on and I just was ready for something different so I'm going to go a totally different direction so here we go Okay, so I've gathered some of my items and I'm ready to put it together. I decided to go with my mom's cake riser here. And then I got this little pedestal from a craft store. So I'm going to use that right in the middle here and really create that tiered effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom things in so you can see what I'm talking about a little bit closer. Okay, let's get started. So the front is going to be seen the most, even though it's going to be in the middle of my kitchen table, um, nobody's really gonna see it from this side. So I'm going to have things that are a little bit taller towards the back and then tear down toward the front. So we're going to start with this large cream bottle brush tree. Almost everything that I got um, actually is from a craft store so no surprises there um, I'm gonna add a couple here and we'll do another one here normally I would kind of vary it but there's a reason why I want these more kind of beige uh, brown trees from that side so the reason is because I got these snowflake ornaments Let's see can you see those and i want them to stand out against the kind of brown silvery backdrop so i'm going to add these here and i would cut these off but i might use them as ornaments a little bit later and that and I got this little ornament isn't that so cute 
It's like a little Ugg boot. Doesn't have anything on the top, so I might add a little something to that. But I'm going to add the boot right here. Just so wintry, right? And then, this is just a wooden snowflake. It must have been like a die cast uh, cut wooden snowflake. It looks like it actually has three different layers on it that were glued together. Not quite sure. I just really liked that kind of natural vibe and that I thought it coordinated really well. Putting that there because I really want to cover up the base of this, this uh, topper there. And as you know, I love my battery powered candles that I got from Amazon. I'll turn those on later so you can really get the full effect. I'm going to add one there. And one over here to kind of balance that out. It's also going to help hold up that snowflake. <laughs> Okay, so now what's going to go on the top here is this ceramic um, gray house. And the snow on it is a little bit glittery. I don't know if you can see that. It is supposed to be battery powered and there is a little light inside, but it does not work. So I may actually take it back to the craft store, hope that they have another one and, and switch it out. But for now, you can get the idea. It's just going to fit right there. And, okay, for the very front here, I got these little letters. Guess what I'm going to spell out, everyone? Hmm. So what I like to do to make sure things are balanced out is to actually start with the middle letter or the middle two letters and build it from there. As long as I can spell, right? Okay, so I'm seeing that I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to shift things around a little bit. There. Okay, now I have room for my S. And the W. Oh, this is turning out so cute. If I do say so myself. Okay, so it's not quite finished. I need to add a few little extras in here. So I'm going to take some smaller br bottle brush trees and add these in. I don't know if I can fit this one in here or not. Yep. Okay, I got this a jar of these dusted, kind of silvery dusted pine cones, and I used them in my centerpiece on my dining room table, and I've kind of dis disassembled that, and I'm going to start with Valentine's Day here pretty shortly, but I wanted to take these and use them in this tiered tray. So I'm going to add a few pine cones it's all in the little details, right? And a few more around the back here. And I also picked up this package of some of these die cut wooden snowflakes. So I'm going to add some of these around as well. This will really kind of help fill in the back too. Give a little bit more interest just in case somebody does see the back. And I can lay them down and also stand them up, which is nice. Okay, another thing that I have is this jar of snow. 
<laughs> Isn't that fun? So it has the larger pieces of snow and snowflakes on the top and then finer snow on the bottom. See if you can get a good look at that. So these are really fun to add around. So there's a little snowball here. This is all about the snow, right? I don't know if that's going to fit there. Drop that in there. And I'll add some around the back. And I'm going to add several inside here because there really isn't anything to kind of help anchor between this and the silver. It looks a little plain on the top. I could just dust this, the fine snow underneath, but I had a lot of that around over Christmas and it was a little bit of a pain to deal with, so I'm a little done with that. Okay, another thing that was in my dining room centerpiece was all of these little snowballs. So these were fun. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can drop a few in here. See if they'll stay. All right, it's looking good now. All it takes is adding or turning on the candles. Okay, so I added a few things around the bottom here just to give it some interest on the lower level. And I'll take the camera off the tripod and show you around. Okay, I wanted to give you an up close and personal view of the tear tray here. Here's the back side, not too exciting, but um, cute enough anyway, if anybody did look at the back.
Thanks for watching everyone. Coming up on Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to incorporate your clear glass into your home decor. You may have received some of that from maybe some of your past relatives or you just love it and aren't sure what to do with it. Well, Beth from Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties has actually put together a playlist and a collab for that. So make sure to check back on Tuesday. And as always, please like, subscribe, and comment.